Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different app, yeah. you decide you want to fight mixed martial arts, it's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab, it always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has the ability to switch dancers from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no. unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 159 pounds. Russia. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back in range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Back to the jab now, no good. Up 
body keep laying right under the elbow. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He blocks the shot. Just over three minutes to go. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Under three minutes remain in round one. Circling to his right. Nice punch land over the top. Kick lands. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. There's no give on that leg kick. Great punch landing with so much power. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. <laughs> Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. That was a thudding leg kick. Night if that landed. Digging kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for you. Nice leg kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Punch is blocked. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? He's got to be careful. Get his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, found a home for that knee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, you're not winning a fight necessarily when you're controlling the center of the octagon. But that's what he's trying to do, keep his opponent on the outside, and he has done just that. He has done a fantastic job of doing that because he's setting traps. As his opponent steps left, he just steps to the left. As his opponent goes right, he goes right. He does not follow. He cuts him off trying to beat his opponent to where he's going before he gets there. This man understands foot movement. He understands trap. It's great to see someone with that type of knowledge of cornering his opponents. Good punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Just misses with a left hook there. Big kick land. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And he caught the kick. Ooh, big shot land. Guard lands the right hand. Oh, misses with the jab. So he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. We'll see what he can do. Time is perfect. This will leave an impression in the judge's mind. And as his opponent, you need to get back to your feet right away because you can also sway the judges by get back up to your feet and maybe exploding in one last flurry. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, 
He's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Slips to avoid the run. Oh, just misses with the kick. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. All right, so a knockdown form in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Nice strike. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just a slip there. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Oh man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming, you're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Whip his hip into that kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Punch followed by the right. Punch coming, it's blocked. There's no tell on that leg kick. Not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Slips the punch. Oh, massive kick lands flush. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Twenty seconds to go. Oh, 
final seconds of round three. What a play. Head kick. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Now we'll get you some highlights, DC, from that previous round. You know he's got a penchant for landing those head kicks and certainly found that form in that previous round. Very rarely do you get a fight where a guy gets kicked in the head this many times. He better make some adjustments. He better keep his hands up or he's going to go good night very soon. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Well, missed on that one. Just over three minutes now to go. What a body kick. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Trying to do damage now with the kick, that's a miss. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. He's able to get the there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, went for the spinning kick there, telegraphed it a little bit, no good. Checks the leg kick. Ninety seconds remain in the round. Great punch. Looking to land the right just out of range. There's the kick, it's blocked. Under one minute remains in round four. Four 
45 seconds remain in the round. <laughs> Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Nice punch by Lee. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, Superman punches true. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. That last round, take a deep breath, shake it off. That means nothing now. The only thing that matters is that next five minutes, all right, next round is underway here, and clearly these guys put in the right work during training camp when it comes to the cardio. You could tell that cardio and conditioning was the focus of both of these gentlemen as they prepare for this fight. Nice defense there, huge block. Can't take many of those, you better check. Trying to establish that jab once again. Come on, bud. Let's get those hands working. Circling to his right. Right under the elbow. Nice entry there and able to finish. Big head kick lands. Able to check that kick as well. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Ooh, what a punch. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to be kicked. Beautiful body kick. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Big leg kick land. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Lee. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is over the top. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Uppercut attempt does not get to the target. Nice job defensively there by Lee. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Trying to kick the leg out. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, oh, he lands and maybe time to get 
The ball is checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 52 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party. Today. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.